All right, we got. We don't got Fox. We have Cloud. Cloud. No, no, Definitely. we don't. We got Mewtwo. Okay, we, we got the DLC. We are in a character crisis. <laughs> Yoshige, right, there it is. Yoshige is sticking to his uh, roots, though. We got Loyal Tier City here, guys. Advo and uh, Yoshige Arisima. Oh, yeah, it's Loyal. I always thought it was Low Tier. Oh, I don't know. I think it was Loyal Tier. Are they good? Smashville, Starfield. All right, here we go. Michigan? Yeah, Starfield. That's what I'm talking about. But I know Game Watch being a very light character, and if he doesn't have that down throw, he'll die at 80. Off the bait. Yoshike doing, uh, doing what you need to do as Palutena. Just yep. jump around, bait approaches, and then punish accordingly. Yep. Her neutral is not that bad. Where she struggles is getting... Uh, she doesn't have, like, kill setups. A lot she, of, like, kill confirms. She has kills, but she has to work for him. Yeah, it's... A lot of it is, like, trying to... It, it's usually getting a person off stage, and then... Uh, Hitting them when they're trying to get back on. Oh yeah, Yoshiki is really good um, when they're on the ledge. Kind of like you are. Well, yeah, Yo uh, Palutena's up smash. It um, covers like everything. Yeah, oh. it, it covers basically all the options for getting back on stage. It, it just comes down to timing. She, mm -hmm. um, you can't react to like the ledge get up and release the up smash. You kind of just got to guess. You get a feel for the timing of when they're going to do something. And then if they pick one of the three options that it covers and you get the kill. Other than that, like you don't really get punished. They're usually forced to kind of pick a defensive option or they pick the long, laggy option like roll. They're not going to get really a hard punish on you. So yeah. whenever you're getting on stage versus Palutena, um, it, you kind of just accept that it, if he guesses right on his timing for up smash, that you're going to lose the stock. Game Watch is kind of hard game. Oh, Never mind. the spot dodge. I believe that also would have covered roll. That was good by Adbo. Yeah. Game Watch is upset. Also having invincibility. Which kind of pissed me off. <laughs> Alright, Yoshi is just trying to jump short hop and bait something. But Yoshi is so good at spacing when he needs to be. Alright. Get, get a little bit more percent. 81. Yep. And up smash will, will do, do that. It. We're just talking about that up smash. That up smash is Yoshi K's go to option. I still gotta even clean out those stocks. Oh, god, they're just gonna stand there. I think Yoshi K is just trying to bait him to do something, but Ed yeah, he knows that he has more range than Game and Watch in like general neutral. So Game and Watch, he, he's kind of just baiting Game and Watch to come towards him, and then uh, use his back air, use his fair, and use grab and get the combos just like that. It works. All right, Advo, Advo catching him, uh, not shielding uh -oh. there on the uh -oh. dash. Okay. All right, we're good. I'm never sure how far the teleport goes. Oh, uh, we got a shield drop there. Not not quite understanding uh, Palutena's moves. They are multi-hits. To be honest, who does not understand them? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> the shield. The dash attack, catching That's the roll. Oh, he almost keyed right into that up air. As it starts getting kind of intense for both both players here. Now the game watch has 104 rage. All he needs is one more hit on uh, Palutena. I think it'll be and more he'll, than he'll, he'll close it out with an up smash. Oh, you see, there's the bucket. That would have killed last week. Penalty is down so kills. Oh. And I believe a uh, you know an up, an up air in neutral will uh, up there. Oh, oh. It? no, it shouldn't. Is it? Oh, oh my that's God. it. It was because of the rage, I think. The instant, the instant bucket is gonna close out that game one. It, bucket is just one of those moves that's uh, I don't want to say it's like high risk high reward, but it's just like it's a very like roll to die move whether you're gonna get the kill because the other player like they sit and shield it's going to break their shield. That one might not have, but in general, like it breaks their shield and then they get a kill after that. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe they'll jump or they'll roll away and they'll dodge it completely. So it's like, it's a very polarizing move, I would say. You know, you, you either take the stock or it doesn't really do anything. Exactly, it's so safe, but it's kind of hard to get. If the other player is smart, they like know their options. And sometimes uh, Game Watch players will wait, um, wait until they have like a perfect opening, wait until someone uh, whiffs a move, makes a mistake. But a lot of times when you're playing against a move, like KO punch or bucket, you don't do. Uh, you try to you do like unsafe things, but not things that are so unsafe that you're going to get uh, hard punished by bucket easily. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's just better just to throw it out, just right away in neutral, beat out the other person's moves. As we saw there, Yoshi K had his shield down. I don't know if he was jabbing. Uh, went right through it and it took the stock. And uh, good stuff to Advo there, but yeah, just the, the <laughs> random timing. Yoshi K did not expect to. Um like the instant bucket. I mean, no one really does. Just like when someone gets, when I get a kill point from Little Mac, and I, no one expects me to use it right away. But if I get an opportunity, I'm going to. Yeah. Same, same thing. 
Alright, GTFO goal. option. Good punish there by Yoshi. Good looks there by Yoshi Kirishima playing Palutena well. Palutena has good uh, aerial acceleration, kind of weave in and out. Um, also has a very good fastball. So it's kind of just like a lot of jumps in neutral. Um, it's hard to anticipate when he's going to land and when he's going to throw a move. It's a good combo there for to dash tech. Yeah, I never realized Palutena was so good in the air. Like, I mean, like her aerial mobility. But now that I see it, like, it makes so much sense. And, and what, what she generally loses to, because she has to do that so much, because that's such a good part of her, what she generally loses to is characters like Diddy Kong that just have, like, good fares. I mean, I would even think Advo, um, if you wanted to kind of start beating uh, Yoshi K in neutral, maybe just jump and throw out fares and just retreat back with them. I don't know if it will beat out uh, Yoshi K's fare, but I believe it will trade at least. Good yeah, air dodge read. The upper kill so early, too. I was playing Jakey Buck, like, not uh, gamers calling it last time. His upper would kill me at 80. It's and so it's such strange. a weird weird move, too, because uh, the first hit will generally blow you away too far, but he was in the middle of an air dodge, so uh, the first hit, the first uh, puff of up air didn't blow him away because he was just coming out of air dodge, just mm -hmm. coming out of intangibility. Exactly. And that's what helped it uh, connect there and take that first stock. Yushke being a very good nice wall right now. Not letting Ooh. Advo in. Advo with these mix-ups, trying to get back on stage. Throws out a defensive option. Worked out well for him there. Those are very nice dash attacks. Oh, he is, he is pulling ahead. That bacon. He's up a game. Oh, here we go. All right, Yoshi K. Not, not out of this yet. That up smash almost catching him out of the two frame. I believe it does hit low enough. It does, I think. Okay. Actually, yeah, it does hit on the ledge. Just hit me on the ledge before. Just playing with good footies right now. But I don't think the short hop fair would work because I've tried that against Yoshi K, and he would just like kind of fade back and fair me because his fair is so much range. Yeah. It's okay. Just, it's hard. Like maybe sometimes, but Yoshi K knows spacing. All right, Advo. Mm -hmm. Oh man, he got smash, yeah, yeah. Right? He he got caught there uh, in the middle of his uh, startup of the smash. That's why he took extra knockback, and that's why that kills convincingly off the side. Mm -hmm. Wow, they, <laughs> these, these neutral them. both care both players. I can't. Yep. Oh, good. All right, Yoshi K, staying on stage, not getting overzealous. He's, he's playing it right. He's just not not giving uh, Advo any room to get in. He's playing the matchup correctly, just outspacing Game & Watch. That too. I mean, he's down a game here. He needs to He doesn't have any breathing room. This is, this is his, uh, his winner's bracket. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, he's got to grab again. Advo. These reads. Good. See, he had to grab the ledge again. So a person who's grabbing the ledge a second time wants to buffer an option right away. Yeah. Advo re recognized that. Dash back. I don't know if he wanted to do forward tilt. Um, but he, d he got the punish anyway, and he got stage control back. Mm -hmm. But he needs to be careful, because if he misses a DI on like a down throw, he will die to an up air. I think Yoshi K might be getting a little bit antsy here. Oh, the air dodge, that's oh. it. Oh! And Red there the air is dodge. game two. Advo taking it 2-0. Both close games. Um, clutching it out. That one there with a uh, another wait for an air dodge in game one mm -hmm. was taken by Bucket.